part of the part of the reason I had to drop out of the scene though wasn't my loose crystals. Um, it was really COVID. It was the whole COVID thing, the COVID debacle, calling out Gordon and those guys, which it was a mistake. I think at the time I was pretty convinced that it was like a Chinese bioweapon, but as time went on, I that was wrong. But then the I virus happened. Did the I virus happen before COVID? Yes, I went into ADCC. I mean, the I virus might have been a Chinese bioweapon. It was that unpleasant. It could have. It could have been a precursor. That got us good. That got me so good that it like traumatized me for all future viruses. Mm. So it perfectly set me up for the COVID panic because I just had my eyeballs eaten out by some sort of like Amazonian eye virus. Yeah, what was it? EKC. I forget the full name of it again. Ekiro conjunctivitis or something. Yes, it was. It's a viral conjunctivitis. And that was like. I was about to join Danaher's team with you, basically. You I was were like, you coming into the cold, eh? I was ready to go in. I was like, Danaher, Dan, he's he's the man. He knows he's he's the guy. And then somehow everyone around me just got like a mild case of this eye virus. Well, I was pretty bad. It scarred one of my eyes permanently. Okay, you got it kind of later though, right? It kind of set. It I thought it beat it, eh? And then Miha, who I'd been drilling with every day, got it. And I remember thinking, I'm doing mount rounds. I'm definitely going to get it. And I got it. And I gave it to Mo and the ADCC ref, Peter, I believe. Right. And that's when Josh tried to snitch on you. That's true. He comes up. He gives me a, this, this, this is a hinger move. He's like, hey, Craig, let's take a photo together. We've made it to the semifinals. And I'm like, oh, that's He was going to fight you. That's it. No, Thanks. he was, I think he was on. Different weight. No, I think he was just like, we were both in the semis on other, other sites. And I was like, oh, what a fucking nice gesture Josh Hinger's doing here. And then he just zooms in on my face and he's like, Craig has a nasty virus. In the selfie. Yeah. <laughs> Hinger makes moves like that that cost him friendships, you know. That's a hard thing to... I he mean, thought he was okay. joking. In his defense, do you think that all is fair in love and war? I, and is that a vi is that a viable strategy to take out one of your toughest opponents by like calling them out? I don't. I mean, I don't think it's like honorable. No. But is it viable? It is and viable. Was that what he was going for? I've actually never talked to him about it. Yeah, we should. Uh, we should confront him. I don't know. I thought it was just. I remember he was just like, no, I was just joking around, staring you up, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. You could have got me kicked out of the event. But the best part was that like the pe who beat me at that event. Mate, Mateus Denise beat me, but I gave him co I gave him I virus. So I was like, bro, that's one and one. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, you know, a virus it actually merges with your DNA, and so he has a little bit of your DNA permanently in his eyeballs forever. I mean, he he won the decision, but I'm inside him. So I yes. think that's you a more, actually are literally in his head. That's a more that's a do more dominant victory in my opinion. A, fun, a funny Denise story is. I never took competition too serious, right? So I faced Mateus Denise at Grapple Fest in Liverpool. And this is the wildest shit, right? So we have a match. Nothing happens. They have to pick a winner. So they raise my hand. And Denise has a full meltdown. I literally get on the microphone. I'm like, sorry, guys. That's a draw. Nobody won that. And Denise is like, no, <laughs> I fucking won this match. And he was like throwing chairs and shit. And Marcelo Garcia called him and was like, calm down, bro. 